Hi, this is Newson. We briefly discussed in an earlier video how we could apply heading ones to paragraphs and stuff, and we looked at the navigation pane, which allows us to browse through the headings in our document. The first tab of navigation pane says here, browse the headings in our document. And once headings have been applied, uh, for all those who don't know how headings are applied, we just hover over the heading and we click on heading one. This is a heading two, now this is heading two. That's a heading one, sorry. This heading 2, I'm going to click on it in Navigation Pane, it takes me straight there. If I click on here and I go, this should be a heading 2, so I'm going to click on it to make it a heading 2. And the last heading, I'll make a heading 1. Just, just a little recap how we do it. Click on heading 1 there, or we can right click and go to Styles and Heading 1. Now, what we can do with these headings, I'm just going to go to the beginning of the document by pressing Control and Home. What I can do is if I click on insert and I go blank page, what I want to do is I want to insert a table of contents. And it will use the table of contents from my headings. What I can do is go to references, go to table of contents, and actually, to be honest, I could just go insert table of contents, show page numbers. I want it to show page numbers. I want them right aligned, so I'm going to check that. that that's a print preview. That would be a web preview. I want the tab leader. Actually, I might have a line rather than a tab leader. A line. And I can choose different templates I want it from. There's distinctive, there's fancy, there's modern, there's formal. I prefer the formal look. And I can say, just show me the two levels. Heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4. So what I'd like is just show me the first three heading levels. I'm going to click on OK. There we go. If I added another heading, here we go. If we look, there's my heading, sorry. Yeah. And if I wanted to go to that page really click Control and click to follow. It's my last heading. Let's suppose now I added another heading, another heading here. This is really the last heading. How do I amend my table of contents? Well, I'm going to Alt Control 1 to actually apply that. How do I amend the, that table of contents? What I can do, I've got pretty few options here. This is kind of like a field, and what I want to do is I just want to right click on it and click on Update Field. And that will update the entire table. I've got to select Update Entire Table, and it will include the new last heading. I could have also gone to here, update table here, and it would show me the same dialog, update entire table, but right clicking on it and going update field was the easiest. If I don't want the heading, the table of contents here anymore, I just highlight the whole of it, press delete key, gone. If I want to bring it back in, I'll go to table of contents, and I can use these quick table of contents as well, these automatic ones, click on them, and they'll insert them instantly for me. And same principle applies. If you want to get rid of them, just highlight them. I've got this update table here as well. And this one in these automatic ones. If you want to get rid of them, I just select them all, press delete, and it'll go. I won't do that here. Hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.